Good morning guys, welcome to Videos of Academy Tutorial. Thanks for watching our videos online. Please do like, subscribe, please do press the subscribe button and notification bell in order to update on this YouTube channel. Thank you and God bless you. Today I will be considering what? Why 2022 GC an alternative to biology called practical, an alternative to biology practical. And this is a what? A question that is based on theory aspect. You don't need to what? You don't need to carry out the, the practical aspect of the word, of the questions. But the information concerning the practical has been given in what in this question. I have used that information to answer the questions that follows. Now here is a specimen and we have put that the diagram above are illustrations of different kinds of termites living in the same habitat. Study them and answer the questions A to B. Now we are told that this are diagrams showing the illustration of different kinds of termites. Now we are told that these are termites and these are different kinds of what termites. And we are told to identify the termites labeled one, two, three, four, and what five. So we have to label the what all these termites, these different kinds of termites that we have here. And if you look at this very well, we can see this termite as what. It has a big abdomen. Now, the kind of termite that have big abdomen is what we call coin. Coin termite with a big abdomen. This is the word, the edge. This is the word, the thorax. And this aspect is the big abdomen. So, and because it's having big abdomen now, this is a coin. So, we have from Africa one year in identification is what? Is a coin due to his what? Big abdomen. Now, look at this from Africa two. Specimen. We can see one thing here. We can see a strong mandible here. We call it what mandible. It's a strong and a big edge. The only termite that has big edge, you can, can see among the four or five types of termites that we have here. The only one that has big edge is what is this, which is this is a fast as what so what termites. Some people call it what mandible or termite because. It is what it has big mandible and then large, large edge, so that they call it mandibulate sometimes. So, but this is soja time. Ensure that your, what, your spelling is correct. This is soja termite, soja termite, so soja termite. So, that is that about soja termite. So, then the next one is Roman figure theory. Roman figure theory is having wing. You can see this one is having it's only one with wings here and we call it what wing reproductive wing reproductive is usually is the one that we commonly see when there is what rainy seasons they will be flying around we have what is it's called wing what reproductive also we call it what alit alit Okay, I also know as we also know as what well, alit wing reproductive is commonly seen during the rainy season. They come out during rainy season, especially when there is what a fluorescent light. So now, so that is that about Roman figure three, Roman figure four, which is what known as the king. This is actually not commonly seen around the world. It's usually inside the case. This coin and not king, they are usually in what is the case. And also, we have the last one. We have the last one, which is what? Which is Roman go 5, which refers to as what? As walker. Walker. Very small, but its work is very, very what, mighty. We have walker. So the first one is queen. We have the soldier. The wing be productive, known as what? Alit. The king and the worker. So these are the words, the names of the different kinds of termites that we are given. Now identify the termites that we have done that. State role of each from Africa 1, from Africa 2 and to 5 in a colony. Now, what are the roles or what are the functions performed by these words by these different kind of termites in a colony? Colony is like a community where they live. Uh, all the cast where they live, they live under the ground. Usually, what they make a terminatorium or nest under the ground. So, we call that what when they live 
that community where the termites, group of termites lived, is all called what? the colony. And we are told that what are the function of this what? Of this kind of termites in a colony. Number one, the queen, yeah, which is a the one, the queen, the queen lays eggs. It's usually inside the world, the termitarium, inside the world, inside usually under the world, the ground. So it's usually laid here. It has its only function. It lays what? Laying of what? Eggs. Laying of eggs, that is. Queen lays eggs. Queen lays eggs. They lay eggs. Lays eggs. Or laying of eggs, whichever the case you wanted to write, laying of eggs. So, queen performed the role of laying what eggs. Now, why the what? The soldier termites, the soldier termites, the soldier termites, I put comma here, soldier termites, which is one God, soldier termites, soldier termites, defend what? The colony. It serves as a what as a defense because it has strong mandible and what big edge. They defend what the colony. They defend what defend the colony against what invaders. Against invaders. That is invaders means what enemies. Defend the colony against invaders and what and also another means of defense is that the what. They, they, they block the the tunnel. They block the uh, the entrance of the tunnel. So that's another means of what. Number one, they use a strong mandible to defend the colony. Number two, they what? They use the what? Their big head to what? To block the what? The tunnel, the entrance of the tunnel, so that no invaders should be able to have access to the what? To the tunnel. So that's that about that. The next question, the next what? This is what man figure theory. Now man figure theory, which is what the reproductive what? Reproductive. The wind reproductive. The wind reproductive termites. These ones they replaced. They replaced the old old coin. They replace the old queen or king, thereby establishing what? Establishing new what? New colony. Thereby establishing what? They replace the old queen or king, thereby establishing what? New colony. That is, they establish what? Colony. Establishing new colony. So they are the one that literally what? Replace the old queen. Or replace the dead word king or queen, either by establishing new word colony. That is, they maintain continuity of the word of the termites. So, the Roman figure four, which is the king, the king fertilized the word, they fertilize the laid word, they fertilize the egg, they fertilize what, fertilize the laid the eggs. And also by mating what the mate was mating of the queen, the mate mating mating the queen or mating the queen. So they fertilize the egg by mating the queen. They fertilize the egg by mating what you can call it by mating the queen, or you can write fertilizing the egg, mating the queen, whichever the case, just means that they fertilize the egg and Mate the what the queen by meeting the queen, you fertilize the egg by meeting the queen. So we have what the last one, which is the worker. The worker, we have the last one, which is the worker. My figure five to bracket what the worker. These ones are the ones that what that collect food for the colony, they collect food for the colony, collect food. For the colony, that is, they are what they are gatherers. They gather food for the what for the colony, and also they rebuild or repair the what the colonies. They build or repair the colony. They are doing that. They what they build what they build the what the nests or the sanitarium. Let me just let's sit down. 
Tamiterium. They build the nest or Tamiterium. They build or repair the nest. So they either build, when they build or they send it out, any damages to the water. So they call on all the Tamiterium. So they repair it. They repair it. So they build or repair the nest or Tamiterium. That is their house. So that's that. This one's the open lay eggs. So that they build what? The colony against the invaders, the productive replace the old queen or the king. The king fertilizes the egg or makes the coin. Whichever the one you write, you are still getting it. The worker collects the food for the colony and also build or repair the next automatorium when they are damaged. So that's that about what about their functions and the role they took in the organization. So state one characteristics features that adapt each each Romavigo one, Romavigo two, and Romavigo five to its own function. So what makes Romavigo one, Romavigo two, and Romavigo five adapt to this function? Not to say Romavigo one day X, Romavigo two, Romavigo two divide the colony, and Romavigo four. Five build or repair the nest. So, what make them perform this work? This role in in the organization. So, the reason why they could perform reason for their roles for their roles is the number one, which is the what? Which is the queen? Number one, which is the queen? As large abdomen, as large abdomen, as large abdomen. You can see what make it perform that. See, it has a large abdomen whereby it's whereby it store the what? Store the eggs. As large abdomen, which stores which stores the egg. So which stores the egg? So it has as large abdomen which stores the egg, and this enable it to what? To lay eggs, to lay eggs. So another thing that makes Romafigo two to perform its what function, Romafigo two, which is what soldier garment. The reason why it could perform the function of defense is that it has large edge, large edge to block the entrance to the what the Tamitomio, and large us. And strong, let's call it strong word, mandibu, which they used to attack. So, this is what. So, that is that. So, this also got large head and strong mandibu, enable it to perform its what function. Why the worker, the worker, which collect the food and also repair the nest as what? As what make it perform the world? Number one is that it has well developed mouth parts. You can see it's going to have this mouth part. Well developed mouth parts. Well developed and strong mouth parts. You can see the mouth parts. You can see the head and the strong manual of soldier time. You can see the big abdomen. So that's that. About that. Another thing is that what behavioral adaptation is exhibited by termites. Now we are going to be now behavioral adaptations. What are the behavioral adaptations? Is exhibited by what? By termites. What kind of adaptation they exhibit by all this? We call them the defeat, they exhibit what the case system adaptation, whereby the what they live in the world in an organized community. Where if division of labor is the order of the day, everyone has something to do, so we call them caste system. So the behavioral what adaptations of this time is called caste system, which also known as well the social what insect. So they have the behavioral what of caste system, or you can call it what behavior of social what insects. So that is their behavior. We call it a case system or social work insects. And I think that give one reason for this. 
or your answer. Now, the real reason for this answer is that I told you is that they, each of these sort inside that we have here have a specific group that is they have form of divisions of what labor. Number one, the reason why they what they could what they are what existence of divisions. Division of what labor, division of labor, of labor, and number two, they live in an organized, live in an organized colony, live together in an organized, live together in an organized, live in an organized colony, or we call it what community. So community. So that's why they are called social insects. Existence of what division of labor among the world, among the world, among the world organisms, among the world, among the world determines. So the division of labor among the determines living in an organized colony or community is the reason why we say they are sociable world, sociable world insect or social insect. So that is that about that. Let me quickly claim this as three now. We don't have got three. We don't have got three. Don't forget the answer B. We have got one and two. The behavior of adaptation of these wicked social insects. And the reason why is that they live together in the colony and also they have a form of division of labor. And we have got three now. Says, name one other examples of animals that are similar. In behavior to termites, what other insects or animals that are what similar to what to termites in their area of specializations and the way they were well what organized? And example of insect or animals that behave like that are you have what examples of what of animals like termites. Like that might, uh, we have the bees. The bees also, the only bees, the common bees that we have also exhibit that. We have the bees, we have the wasps, and we have the wasps. I have also ants also exhibit that. have different type of ants. We have the different type of ants. So, but the most common one is what, the bees and the wasps. So, that is that about that. The next one is name one other example. I've done that. State three ways by which termites, three ways by which termites are of economic importance. And this is very, very important. We are talking about economic importance, importance, economic importance of termites. Now, the economic importance of termites has to do with the words, both the words. The good aspect of it and the bad aspect of what termite. So I talk about economic importance. We're not talking about only the what the what they contribute positively to the what environment, but also what they contribute negatively to the what environment. So I'm talking about the two together. Number one is that they eat up or destroy. They eat up or destroy books. If you have the word determined in your book, your book, your library, you are you are serious danger. They eat all books, books, woods, or what? Even clothes, woods or clothes. You can see them eating up woods. They destroy woods, and that's why if the wood is not what is not sprayed, they can destroy the wood. So they eat up books, woods or clothes. They also destroy crop, crops. They destroy crops. Also, on a theory, they serve one of the good, good or positive contribution is that they serve a source of what? Serve a source of food or protein. Serve a source of food. There's something we call in urban, especially the reproductive what? They will be productive during the what? During the rainy season, they come out where there's during the rainy season where there is a fluorescent light, 
the light and people they do it them in the overland. So we call them what? Call them the sun sun. So they are serve as source of what? Foods or protein. Also, as you can apart from that, they aerate the what? The soil by burrowing. By brewing or what we call it turning. Why? How do they relate? Relate means that they will they supply what of the soil with oxygen as they brew as they make holes to the ground. They make holes in the ground. They allow oxygen to penetrate the what the ground. They also allow it. They also increases the penetration of increases the penetration of water as they what the burrows as well. As they burrows the land, they are increase the penetration of water. They are burrowing. They are burrowing as well. They mean, what they increase the penetration of water. They are what burrowing. But one of the what the negative importance is that they what they increase the cost of clearing what clearing sites. And cost of what and cost of road construction. They increase the what clearing and costs of road constructions because they will have destroyed the topography of the land, just by making it what non-easy to what to construct what road and so on and so forth. We have a lot of things. The material on nails to serve as what the tennis court, the material. Let me stop here. The material or nests of insects can be used as tennis courts. A tennis courts. Why? Because when they want, when they grow the land, they leave some soil on top. So they make this soil so soft to be used as a what as a sports ground. So that's why they can use it as tennis court. So the last question here, which is what? So uh, figure five. State the structural differences. The structural difference. I have to say the structural difference. That is what you can see. State the structural difference. State the structural difference. Let me give it enough space. Between what? Between one and two structural difference between one and two structural difference between one and two that is structural difference between so one to go one which is what the point and Roman to go two which is the word the soldier termite the soldier termite so what are the differences Different structural difference. What you can see structurally, so you can see this one has big abdomen, small abdomen. You can see it's obvious. This is big abdomen, this is small abdomen. So we have big or large what abdomen, large abdomen, abdomen, abdomen. Your spelling must be very correct. Small abdomen. And the first one that we can see that is very obvious. You can see it. This one has large eight, small eight, large, small eight, small eight, large eight. So also you can see the presence of mandibles. Yes. It's also large mandible, but it's very very small. This is one. They have what? They have what? We have prominent what we call it prominent you can call it prominent mandibles. We have small or small mandibles. We have we have what other things do we have here? We have the what? The small mandible, prominent mandibles. What else is still obvious here? So yeah, we have the long legs here. We have what? Short legs. Short legs. We have long legs. 
We don't have that about that short face, long face. This was as eyes. This one has no eyes, absence of eyes. You can see there is eyes there. So my it might not contain it, you can also include it in your order. That word eyes, this one has eyes. Presence of eyes. Presence of eyes and absence of what? Absence of eyes. Presence of eyes, absence of eyes. As eyes, as no words, eyes. Can use that one. As eyes, as no eyes. So these are the physical words, observable words, future. Physical observable features or physical differences. So I write short legs here and long legs, small mandibles and prominent mandibles, small head, large head, large abdomen, small abdomen. So that's that. Another thing that I might ask you is that what class does this this set belong to? The class they belong to here, let me just quickly write it. They belong to the class insecta and the phylum because they, because they belong to class insecta, the phylum is atrovert, atropoda. And you might ask you, okay, why is it an insect? Why is it classified as an insect or as an insect? Because they have three body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. So we do get the head, the thorax, and abdomen. So that's why they are insects. They also have three what, three pairs of legs. One, this one pair, this is two pair, this is three pair. So they have what, three pairs of what legs. Some also have wings. So so that's why they are class insecta. So please do that. If any other questions comes like that, on what? On these questions, which is what? Which is the class of the insects or the phylum of the insect it is insecta and what class insecta and phylum what atropoda. So we have come to the end of this to this class. Please if you haven't subscribed, please do not press subscribe button and notification bell and as well as update on this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching again once again. Thank you and God bless you.